After a year spent reading the storyless, characterless, plotless, rambling bullshit of the Quran, I have to admit that we've fallen a little out of practice in presenting the storyline of a holy book, and despite our efforts last week, we fear we may have failed to capture all the twists, turns, and absurdities of the Book of Mormon. So, with the hopes of rectifying that shortcoming, we'd like to present a new segment called Mormon Peace Theater. This week, First Nephi, chapters 1 through 11. Hello, it is I, Nephi, and I'm Totes Magotes, an ancient Israelite. I've written down this book in the language of my people, Egyptian, go fuck yourself, to tell you my story. This is my father, Lehi. Hi. He was a great prophet, and one day God came to him with a very special message. Lehi, Lehi, it is I, God. I have a vision for you. Oh, Jesus, that's bright. What's the vision? Um, I, here's a, uh, a, a book to, to read. The, the vision is a book to read? Don't question me, I'm God. And it came to pass that it came to pass my father read that book and contained within were words of such wisdom. Wisdom unlike the world had ever seen before. I'm not going to tell you any of it, but... Trust me, knucklefuckers, this wisdom shit was the tits. If she won't share your fries, she won't suck your dick. Gross, Dad, cut it. And uh, came to pass, my father did come to the Jews and tell them his wisdom. Everyone's gonna die. Ooh. You suck. I hate you. So, totally unrelated to that and in no way caused by it, my father received a message from God telling us to go wandering in the desert. And we wandered for three days, the... 350 miles to the Red Sea at, like, 15 miles an hour. <sighs> Move your ass, Nehi. Jesus, fuck, Dad, just slow down. Crossfit, bitch! Oh, shit, uh, I, also, I, I forgot to mention I have brothers. My, my bad. Th their names are, are Layman. Hi. And Lemuel. Hi. And Sam. Wait, my name is Sam? Sure is, uh... Joseph ran out of names. It's the first chapter of the book. Yep. And it came to pass, Lemuel and Layman were being real downers about the whole wander in the desert plan. So my father yelled at them. We don't want to wander, wander in, the in the desert. I will turn this caravan around. Good. We want that. Both of you fuck a whisker. But I, Nephi, I was a good son. And in a vision... God told me that I would be chosen. You're my favorite, Nephi. Uh, oh, uh, why? Because cause you're white. Huh? Because spoilers. Okay, so I told my brothers, and Sam believed me. Sure. But Laman and Lemuel did not. Bullshit. And it came to pass, that it came to pass, that while it was coming to pass the next morning... God came to my father with a very important message. Lehi! Lehi! Yes, my lord! I come to you with a very important message. Is it the reason for our journey, my lord? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's just... Do, do you mind going back and getting the Old Testament printed on brass plates? Um, go back? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't forget because I'm God and not a con man in upstate New York. I just, I just, um, I want you to. Okay. Any chance I could just transcribe those bad boys? Bronze plates of like, like a, like a thousand pages. Yeah, that's, it's gonna be awfully heavy. Too bad. I really want you to get them. Okay, it's super duper important. Really. Just for the Bible. Like, is there... Uh, uh, no, it, it also has, like, uh, your dad's name. So more than a thousand pages. It, now that you mention it, yeah. Okay, well, anything else I need while I'm there? Would really like this to be the last trip. Oh, no, nothing else. Well, maybe, no, de no, 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 last trip. And my brothers were greatly displeased. No! Fuck this asshole. But I was not, for I was the best and most beloved of my father. Oh, go fuck yourself. You. So back to Jerusalem we traveled, and it came to pass that there we learned the brass plates 
We're in the home of Laban, the evil ruler of the city. Wait, we got to go get an Old Testament Bible. Yes. Made of brass. Uh, yes. From a guy who wants to kill us. Yes. Not it. Not it. Not it. Ah, fuck. So my brother Laman journeyed to the house of Laban, where he asked him for the plates. Uh, Laban, uh, yeah, please return to me the, the, the brass plates of my father. Huh? No, no, for I suspect you're trying to rob me, and I hate your father. What? 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 Why? Not sure. This book sucks. Sure does. Uh, wh why are you doing that weird voice? I don't know. I think I'm based on Harrod or Pontius Pilate, right? And that's your voice for, for, for those guys? Okay, get out of here, you scamp. Seriously? Yeah, man, fuck off. But I was not discouraged. I gathered all the gold and silver left at my house with my brothers and returned to Laban. Can I buy the plates? Yeah, can we just, can we buy them? No, but I will murder you, you sassy little minxes. Run away! Run away! And away we ran. Seriously, Nephi, fuck you. That was the worst plan oh. ever. No, 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 my brothers, don't, don't you see? We must get on each other's shoulders so that Laban thinks we're a giant and then gives us the plates. I, you want to kill him with a stick? Yeah, let's kill him with a stick. No, tis I, an angel. Do not kill your brother with a stick. Fine. And with my brothers learning their lesson and sure never to try to kill me again, I devised a clever ruse to take the plates from Laban. Let's sneak into his house and steal them. That's your plan. Yep. Not it. Not it. Fuck! So that night, I snuck into Laban's place, and uh, carefully sneaking past his guards, I came upon Laban drunk. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Nephi, it is I, God. You must kill Laban. Oh, that, that's, that's perfect. Done. Fuck, you, you, uh, you went right for it, huh? I didn't have to... I am a Mormon. Zing. So I put on Laban's clothes and gathered up the plates, but not before I stumbled upon his servant. Halt! Who goes there? It is I, uh, Laban. Oh, uh, yeah, you totally are, are, are Laban. Really? Yeah, that, that doesn't look like at all like you're some guy covered in... Laban's blood, who obviously killed him and will totally kill me if I notice that he's not Laban. So, yeah, you'd look just like Laban. Exactly. Uh, so, help me carry these plates. Fuck, is this a thousand pages made of brass? I know, right? <laughs> Brothers, I have returned. Ah, oh, it's Laban! Laban! What? Seriously? I said, I said, Brothers, I have returned. Right, sorry. Good disguise. You guys are fucking idiots. I'm gonna murder you. What? Nothing, nothing. Let's, let's go back and see Dad. The plates. Father, I have returned. Oh, son, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, me too, me too. Good to see you. You know what you look like you could use? A walk. What? Yeah, nice little brisk walk. Maybe back to Jerusalem for some wives. You're kidding me. Nope, God just told me like eight minutes ago. Why would you put this in your own book? Meta. But my brothers were once again rebellious and did not want to return with my father. No fucking way, bro. Seriously, I'm not, no, no way. Come on, brothers. I am the chosen of God and I command this of you. We must be loyal to our father. Or, quick counter suggestion, uh, we tie you up in the desert and leave you to die. Wait, what? I vote for that. Ooh, me too. Seriously? A a an angel told you guys not to do stuff like this like... Eight minutes you ago. Know, you know what? And an angel hasn't had to wipe with sand for two consecutive 350-mile walks. Mm, okay, solid point. And it came to pass, that it came to pass, when it came to pass, how it came to pass, my brothers left me in the desert to die, but I prayed to the Lord and was able to escape them. Ta-da! Fuck. Worst. We're, we're good now, right? Yeah, no, sure, sure. Trasties. All right. Glad that's never going to happen again. My children have returned. Dad, they tried to kill me again. Snitches get stitches, Nephi. Fine. I've had a magnificent dream that I must tell you before I tell you of it. Nephi, I must tell you that you and your brother Sam will be greatly blessed. Greatly blessed. Uh-huh. Anybody else in the family going to be greatly blessed? Nope. Huh. Weird. Well... 
You get a blessed brother. That's pretty cool. This fucking book. I dreamed of a tree. It was a great white tree. And on it hung the most beautiful and delicious pure white fruit. From it extended a great solid iron bar that led all those along it to the tree. Wait, so like a dick? No, not like a dick. I mean, it sounds like a dick. Sounds like a dick. It's not, it's not a dick. Anyway, oh, you ruined it. Anyway, in my dream, Nephi and Sam followed the bar and ate the fruit, and yet no matter how much I begged, Laman and Lemuel would not taste the fruit. Wicked and evil and rebellious they were. I'm still right here. Yeah, well, go grab a tree, Dick. It was then that I decided to once again commit myself to God, and it came to pass that so committed to God was I that I received all the visions my father had and more, for I stood on a mountain with an angel. Nephi, tell me, what do you see? I see a virgin most beautiful and fair. Oh, what? Oh, shit, sorry. That is uh, called Cinemax After Dark. Didn't mean to... Uh... Oh, no, well, I mean, you don't, you don't have to change it. And so, too, did I see Jesus Christ, the Son of God, would be the Son of God, and a great journey was yet to come. But, Nephi, there is more. So much more in store for you. Are my brothers going to try to kill me again? Yeah, yeah, man, like a bunch. A lot. Mm-hmm.